What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, TJ, and I'm back again with another banger, man. Today, it's going down, fellas, ladies, because today is about to go down. Today, we're going to be reacting to Lil Dirt reacts to NBA Youngboy, King Von Diss. You hear what I just said? M Lil Dirt reacts to NBA Youngboy's King Von Diss. If y'all ain't heard the song, man, y'all definitely got to check it out. Uh, not only is he saying shit about... Uh, a uh, little dirt. I heard some shit about little dirt referencing King Von, and I heard some shit about NLE Chopper, bro. But this is gonna let us know the scope. This was gonna hear little dirt reacts. You feel me? So let's go ahead and jump in. Rapper NBA Youngboy has got the media and streets talking with his new song, Bring the Hook. Apparently, Youngboy called out the entire O Block and even yeah. dissed the late King Von. Now, I this caught Lil Durk's attention and he responded with his song. From Lil Durk's response, fans can tell that there's only one That's thing a coming. Song. War. Keep watching to see Lil Durk's reaction. Hold on, man. Lil Durk dropped a song, nigga. I ain't know they dropped a song, man. I got a jump on that, nigga. Into NBA Youngboy's King Von Diss. NBA Youngboy diss, diss track. track yeah. NBA Youngboy's <laughs> latest song has not only triggered Lil Durk, but also members of Old Block who caught wind of the lyrics dissing King Von. And they have shared their reaction online, Yo and threatening Dirk. a new wave of possible violence. In his song, Bring the Hook, Youngboy said, Old Block back it rolled up, murder what they told us, Atlanta boy get bold up. Many have linked this line to King Von's death in a direct shot at the Old Block gang. The lyrics oh. caught the attention of Lil Durk and this Von's sister, crazy. Kayla B, who both seemingly responded on social media don't claim it if you ain't do it you still I've seen that post dirt captioned his instagram photo which finds him flexing stacks of cash chains and posing next to a canvas of king vine from his welcome to old black album photo shoot kayla b posted on twitter on demon time in the house on house arrest get in the streets <laughs> young boy is yet oh look bro why did i just say that oh demon time in the house on oh, house arrest get in the streets damn <laughs> That shit crazy. <coughs> K Kayla <coughs> Kayla B. You with the shit. On demon time in the house on house arrest. Get in these streets. In these Young streets. boy is yet to make any comments on the whole situation. She with the shit. Reaction. King Von was literally the king of O Block before he died. Everyone right. on the block loved and respected him, especially the gangsters. So when Young Boy dissed their king and all the gangsters on the block, they all went wild. Several clips that showed the reaction of the O Block gangsters to NBA Young Boy's diss track went viral. In the clips, the gangsters were seen gathered in O Block, playing the diss track in full blast mode while burning green flags and clothes. Literally oh. anything green in that area was burned to ashes. You see, NBA Young Boy is the leader of the 4KT game. And they hoist the color green. So burning the green flags was their way of sending a warning shot to NBA Youngboy not oh. to step foot in Chicago because oh. he'd get burned. Many people on social media Can't criticized go there. the old block video of the gangsters burning green flags and some even laughed at them. Some fans claim that it is silly of them because they bought the flags with their own money and burned the flags themselves. Another bro, come on. <laughs> Internet motherfuckers are petty. It don't matter who bought the flags. It's still they fled, bro. So they still trying to, you know what I mean, make a point. Like, you know what I mean? ...of them because they bought the flags with their own money and burned the flags themselves. And others talked about how the old black gangsters needed to let the name of King Von rest as they have been involved in several beefs and battles, all in the name of their loyalty to King Von. Lil Dirk. Dirk and NBA Youngboy. Let's go. Beef. Lil Dirk. The beef between Lil Dirk Young is boy. quite new. And in some ways, it's pretty confusing. These two rappers have never called out each other directly, but their fans can hear the unspoken words between them loudly. They will never collaborate. The two rappers weren't always against each other in the past as they have hopped on. Hey, the they collaborated. Hey. My side I ain't gonna stunt. If these niggas oh what? Yeah, they did back in the day. Hold on, I remember each that. Other in the past, as they have hopped on some tracks together, like the song yeah. "My Side" in 2017. I heard but that. Things I reacted to that. Turn for the two rappers in 2020 after King Von, one of Lil Durk's childhood friends and only the family associate, was shot and killed by someone associated with NBA YoungBoy. Mm. Fans believe that NBA YoungBoy's bond caused the beef between the two rappers with Quando Rondo, who was involved in the shooting of King Von. The beef between Lil Durk and NBA YoungBoy has caused YoungBoy some setbacks in the rap industry. You see these. 
these two rappers are mainstream I, and so nobody the fuck with your boy so anyone would be grateful to hop on a track with either of them however because of the beef between the two rappers other rappers can only afford to collaborate with just one of them and it isn't oh. young boy in an interview with yeah. DJ academics 21 savage revealed that not many rappers would collaborate with nba young boy mostly because of their loyalty to Lil Durk or because they fear the wrath of the pretty face gangster. Damn, I ain't gonna lie. When it comes to rappers, Lil Durk wins. When it comes to rappers, who fucking with rappers and shit like that, Lil Durk wins every time. But when it comes to the fans, the fans, man, NBA young boy got a fan base like I have never seen, bro. And I only see a portion of them. You know what I'm saying? Because I do reactions and shit. I see a portion. I ain't never seen no fans to act the way NBA young boy fans act, nigga. They are loyal, nigga. So you can't help but motherfucker respect that straight up. You can't beat them, join them, nigga. Straight up. Or because they feel the wrath oh, of the pretty face gangster. You don't have to pick sides. 21 told DJ Academics, adding, but you got to be a certain type of artist to be in the middle. Quando Rondo confirmed in an interview that mm, rappers Quando. do not want to collaborate with Youngboy, and they always brought trouble their way. People don't like us because they don't know we don't f with nobody, Quando said. If I feel like I need to do a song with it, I'm going to do it with Youngboy. A lot of trouble comes our way because we're not They got some arms. hits. Parallels a lot of desktop is trusted by more than seven million users Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. worldwide to run Windows on Mac. Oh, we got back out of the rapper's reaction. NBA oh. Young Boy song because we're not open arms. I bet. Rapper's reaction. NBA Young Boy song really shook things up in the rap industry the week it was yeah. released, and a couple of rappers weren't pleased by it, including oh. rappers that NBA Young Boy has close connections cool. with. One of Chicago's very own oh, rappers, Lil Reese, responded to a Twitter post say? by DJ Academics. The post read, "NBA Young Boy on Demon Time right now, sheesh, and he dropping a whole tape Friday." Oh, while shit. Lil Reese replied saying, "That ain't no Demon Time." He just rapping like the rest of these rappers all rap. Now, oh, Reese's comment wasn't very surprising as he's a Chicago native, and it's only right that he's well, you on know, King he, oh, Von's side. But what came as a shock to fans was NLE Chopper's response. You see, NLE Chopper is a known associate to NBA Youngboy and one who would support him in times like this. However, NLE Chopper didn't seem to be Damn. pleased with Youngboy's song, and he made it known when he replied to Lil Reese's tweet about Youngboy. His response read, I stamped that. NBA Youngboy Damn. didn't make any statement regarding NLE's Chopper's betrayal. One response that wouldn't come as a surprise to you was Fredo Bang's reaction. Fredo Bang, NBA you know Young he Boy and Fredo Bang say. fans would surely know of the long and heated beef between the two rappers. Fredo Bang's reaction was very subtle, but the Where's fans right? knew just what he meant. He posted a picture on his Instagram story and captioned it, safe along with some laughing emojis. Safe as fuck. King Von, tragedy. The death of King Von came as a shock to everyone in the world, but most especially to his fans, as he had just released his debut album a week before his death. His death Damn. also sparked a That's riot two -box in the shit, man. between the O-Block and 4KT gang Biggie members, Smalls. because the O-Block members believed that King Von was killed by one of Quando Rondo's guys, a rapper who was in the 4KT gang. Here's how it went down. What started off as a fun night at a club in Atlanta turned into a horrific tragedy that cost the life of King Von. The rapper was out partying with his goons at Monaco Hookah Lounge, when a fight broke out between his group and another group. The fight escalated to the extent that two off-duty uniformed police officers working security outside the lounge and an on-duty officer on patrol nearby Damn. intervened. As seen in footage from the night of the accident, the fight was taken outside the club. And just as King Vine was throwing punches, shots were fired and mm. he got hit. It was these shots that alerted the cops. However, the police only came in after King Vine had been shot and taken to the hospital. According to mm. the Atlanta Police Department reports, Police was late as fuck. At the scene when they arrived, as he was already. Police was late as fuck, man. For real. Police department reports they did not find King Von at the scene when they arrived, as he was already taken to the hospital by his goons. King Von was pronounced dead in the early hours of November. They were wait. Hey, that's real though. They, them niggas were waiting on no ambulance, bro. They took his ass straight to the hospital themselves. Salute to them niggas for doing that. For real, that's some real gangster shit. For real, y'all want to talk about gangster shit? That's gangster shit. Niggas who really got your back, or niggas who really stand for the shit. Start looking at that. Quit looking at the negative as gangster. Look at that fucking what what that shit. What they were supposed to be doing. Niggas who really putting that money aside for if a nigga get fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Niggas who really have meetings. Niggas who really go out there and clean up the neighborhood or go out there and motherfucking hold turkey drives and shit like that. Man, y'all gotta start paying attention to that shit. The entire O Block paid their respects to Vine as they considered him one of the best rappers from the O. 
Fans weren't sure why Kevin Vaughn and his crew took a jab at Quando Rondo, one of NBA Youngboy's guys, especially after claiming he didn't have beef with Youngboy. The day before his death, King Vaughn revealed during an interview with academics that he had no real issues with NBA Youngboy, and there wasn't any actual beef. They are saying that a lot, he said. It's like we got the same issues and and then you know how the internet would try to make it. Did Quando Rondo Damn. take out King Vaughn? No, the nigga, we seen it. Come on, NBA man. Young boy streams from the fact that Quando Rondo was somehow involved in the death of King Von. Rondo gave his own account of what happened on the night we, that we, King Von died, video. and here's how the interview went. According to Quando Rondo, he didn't want to go into the club that night, and he told his brother, Lil Tim, aka Timothy Leakes, who was charged with the murder of King Von. I walk to the car. I tell my brother, I say, it's this amount to park right here, said Rondo. He continued. I said, mm. I'm not going in the club. Find you a little female or whatever, cuz. I'm like, you got 15 minutes, cuz. Then I'm dipping. We about to go to the house. According to Rondo, after telling this to Lil Tim, he went to the back of the car to get some sleep. My brother said, Lil Tim told me, he said, Lil Bruh, I'm not about to let you sit in no car and go to sleep, Quando explains. I'm about to sit in here and roll up. I'm like, all right, bet. Now I'm about to stand by the other individual that I came with. I'm going to stand by his car until they park. Soon as they park right here, because we're going to park right here next to this car, because this is a $250,000 car. I'm going to stand right here till they get right here. Soon as they do that, I'm going to get in the back seat, and I'm going to go to sleep. I'm with my day one, my main mans. I can do this. One thing about him, he going to protect me with anything, which anybody should do. That was exactly what Lil' Tim did. He protected Quando mm. Rondo by firing that shot at King Vine, <clears throat> as witnesses claim that King Vine and his goons were the aggressors in the fight, and they had in fact, threatened Quando Rondo's guys, which caused the fight to escalate. Quando Rondo stepped out of the vehicle, and he didn't expect to have any problems when he bumped into King Von's crew. I'm thinking these were some regular individuals, he said. So when letting this group come by, next thing you know... Hey, I, it's crazy uh, hearing this nigga voice when he does the voice thing and shit. <laughs> He really do. We sounded like some fuck niggas. I tell you not. It's like I had an out of body experience. It was at this point the shooting began. Although he wasn't arrested, Quando Rondo claimed that he and his crew acted in self defense. Mm. The O Block gang and only the family crew have since set their eyes on Quando Rondo and the 4KT gang. Quando Rondo went on to diss King Von at one of his live stream performances where he sang, He got caught without that pool and now that. Gone. I'll fizz on his grave. King Von's Damn. crew weren't exactly pleased by Quando harsh, Rondo's bro. song, so <laughs> they went to say a little hello at his next open performance, where they shot at him and his crew. The craziest part of the whole situation for Quando Rondo was the fact that he didn't know he had beef with the OTF crew, as he assumed Jeez. that he had a cool relationship with Lil <laughs> Dirt, who was the leader of the, the family crew. So why the OTF crew attacked him at the club that night was unknown to him. From my understanding, I had a relationship with Big Bro, Quando Damn. says. I want to say his name. You know who I'm talking about. I ain't gonna lie, bro. If you motherfucking kill King Von or with the nigga who killed King Von, bro, anybody know this? You can't look at Lil Dirt like he ain't got no problem with you. You could be Lil Dirt best friend, nigga. You kill King Von, nigga. He got a problem with that. Hundred percent. That was on my album. It was all love from us. From my understanding, Lil Durk was on Safest, a track on Quando's q that, album. That shit was Boy, hard. a young boy dissed King Von. Damn. It's quite clear that there is some bad blood between NBA Youngboy and the Only the Family crew, as well as the O Block gang. However, this doesn't answer the question of what prompted Youngboy to this King Von mm. and O Block. You see, Facts. NBA Youngboy isn't one to share his story on social media, so you can't really keep up on his life and stuff, but fans have been able to fix the puzzle. NBA Youngboy and the members of the 4KT crew regard each other as brothers, and they yep. always watch each other's back. That was exactly what Lil Tim did that caused the whole mess in the first place. Youngboy did and the O was his way of telling them to keep off his 4KT gang and Quando mm. Rondo because they will be ready to roll them up if it gets to that. Quando Rondo mm. hasn't had any peace of mind since King Von died. It's been one problem after another for him, including several death threats and actual attempts Still, on his life. I'm sure Rondo nigga him. get we probably get so many damn death threats. It's not even funny, bro. Death threats every day, man. And that's probably gonna be going on for a while, man. Woo! Shit crazy, bro. The death Shit. threats in an interview where he said he doesn't let them affect him. However, some come to me. That's how I'm about to go about that. Rondo said. Death threats. I ain't got. Won't. You got. You got a motherfucker. Take that serious. Anybody. Somebody. Anytime somebody send you a death threat, bro, and you see them out in public, bro, you gotta take that serious. 
and and people gotta understand. You know what I'm saying? Hey, they, niggas say we're gonna kill me, bro. Hey, niggas are already trying to get you, so you better motherfucker be ready. However, some come to me. That's how I'm about to go about that. Rondo said, "Death threat all you want to, bro. That that's just some words, man." Go do an action. Rondo went on to say that no matter what happens, he's going to be with his young daughter. I'm going home to my daughter. And if I didn't, God called me. He had it. But I'm going home to my daughter. Rondo has surrounded himself with people who also firmly believe in protecting themselves as well as protecting the brand that is Quando Rondo. Damn. Many fans believe that the Bring the Hook song was his way of showing off to the O Block gang that they can't do anything to either of his crew members. According to the comments on Lil Dirk's Instagram post where he called out Youngboy, NBA Youngboy may just be right. Bring the 22 up. year old rapper sits comfortably in the top three trending on YouTube with three of his new singles. The number five and number three positions belong to the rapper as fans tune in to Foolish Figure and Bring the Hook, respectively. Mm. Respectively. I. <laughs> this shit was eye opening, shall I say, man. It, it got me real in tune with what's going on. I gotta say this, man. NLE Chopper, bro, you should have just stayed in your place, bro. You should not even get jumped into this shit, bro. Let let these two niggas handle what they gotta handle as far as you know what I'm saying. I don't know. I don't know, dude. It's almost like you want it to die down. You hope it died down, but bro, it's, it's so much shit has been done. Or one major thing has been done. I don't know, if bro, ever gonna let that shit die down, bro. So only thing you can do from this point is move accordingly, you know what I'm saying? But don't be pushing that shit out. Don't be motherfucking trying to hype, get niggas mad and shit until some shit really do happen. And now we over here got another motherfucking tragedy in hip-hop, you know what I'm saying? We we got enough tragedies, bro. Enough tragedies, man. So, NLE Chopping, bro, I, I, you, you just chill to the side, bro. This ain't no Memphis beef, man. This is some Chicago... Versus Atlanta or Chicago versus motherfucking Savannah, nigga. I don't even know if it's that, nigga. It's, but it's some old block versus motherfucking NBA young boy type shit, bro. We ain't got Tennessee ain't got nothing to do with it right now. You know what I mean? So, hey, that's my reaction to the video. Go ahead and comment your reaction down below on what you get this video. If it was hot, if it was not, if it was informative, do you fuck with it? If so comment down below also if you want another video bro comment what video i should react to next i'm out this thing yeah